Are you listening? Welcome to the Real and Real Pie. My name is David and I'm here with my co-host Marcy. Oh. <laughs> Hi. She apparently wasn't prepared. No. Have you ever watched a movie and thought to yourself, what if this happened in real life? Well, that's what this show's about. Marcy, can you tell us what today's question is? Yes. Yes, I can. It is... Uh, give me like 12 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All 14, right. 14, 14, 15, so 16. So today's... You're late, Marcy. <laughs> It's <laughs> at 12. You counted fast. No, nope, nope. Anyway. Those are seconds. Those are regular seconds. <laughs> okay, so today's question is, what if everyone had a robot body? Yeah, that's not baby. That's body. <laughs> what if everyone had a robot body based off the movie Alita Battle Angel? Doc found you in the scrapyard. So you must be from up there. And I'm just an insignificant girl. Yeah, that's what they want you to think. Set several centuries in the future, the abandoned Alita is found in the scrapyard of Iron City by Ido, a compassionate cyber doctor who takes the unconscious cyborg Alita to his clinic. When Alita awakens, she has no memory of who she is, nor does she have any rec- recognition of the world she finds herself in. As Alita learns to navigate her new life in the treacherous streets of Iron City, Ido tries to shield her from her mysterious past. What's with you in these names? Sounds, <laughs> You're like, I don't. I want to say Ido, but maybe Ido. that's wrong. Ido, anyway, Ido. do you want to see this movie? I do. It looks interessante. Mm. What about you? Same. Looks awesome. I've been waiting to see this movie for the longest. Yes. Same. Yes. It's very pretty. So, ladies first, uh, what if everyone had a robot body? What you got? My first point is that if everyone had a robot body, oil prices are on the rise. Because we're oiling our bodies? Yes. We're making sure our joints don't creak. Yeah. I doubt there's oil in this movie. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> there's something when they get hit. When the robots get hit, they're leaking out something. So it's got to be oil or something else. Could be blood. And free. Maybe just put it as a symbolism as to connect to your real person. Mm. Yep. Mm, so oil colored red. Yeah. What's the oil for? To keep you limber. Wouldn't you just use limber- lubrication? That's oil. I know, but actual, like, other lubrication other than oil. Well, most of them are water-based. Not, like, grease. Not grease. Mm. What am I trying to think of? Like... Petroleum? No. Vaseline? Yeah, like, it's Vaseline-looking. That's oil. No. I know what oil looks like. (laughs) This is, like, a consistency of, like, butter. Lard? Lard, yes. That is food, and that is But not lard, but it's, like, somewhat like lard. Some lube. (laughs) You mean like bulb grease, like when you put in a light bulb and you're supposed to like grease the socket? Yeah, sure. I guess like that. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think so. For okay. cars, I know. Yeah. It's yeah. for cars. Yeah, that's oil. It's an oil-based oil. thing. Oil. It's an oil-based thing. You didn't say it, no. Oil-based <laughs> and oil is two different things. <laughs> oil-based and oil. Well, it, inv- it, uh, it involves oil, so it involves oil. Oil prices going higher because if everybody got robot bodies, then everybody using some oil-based lube, which means that oil prices is going through the roof. And they ain't get rid of cars. So. How often do you use oil, though? Mm-hmm. I've had many machines for many years and they don't use oil. My laptop doesn't use oil. Why does uh, my body need to? Your laptop don't bend a lot. There are pieces in there that move. Yes. Because it's built that way. Your body's not built that way. Your my laptop body, is my running body around. will be built your that body way. Is, your, lap, your, lap, your body your laptop my is running around. <laughs> your laptop isn't running around trying to like run over things. Why are you? I don't Sit know. Your butt down. I got the body to. Put <laughs> your butt down somewhere. <laughs> I got the body to. You best believe I'm going to be jumping. <laughs> okay. Jumping and running. I guess. I can't think of any like real uh-huh. op- oppositions to this. Uh-huh. My first yeah, what's point. your first point? No more doctors. Huh. Maybe mechanics, but no doctors. Okay, that ties into my second point, too. Look at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, uh, obviously this makes complete sense, you know? Yeah. You have nothing breaking down. I mean, if it's breaking down, you don't need a doctor to come fix it. You need a mechanic. But then you're not getting sick. But you would still need a doctor in some aspects because you have part of you as a, bi- as, as a person. Just your head. 
Or half of you. Your top half? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I just meant your head. What did you, why did you go all the way to the half? <laughs> like, what if somebody's like a cyborg body? Okay, so like in the anime uh, Attack on Titan, there's a character named Marco Bolt. Marco and what? Polo? Marco Bolt. Bolt. B-O-D-T. Bot. Bolt. Bolt. I say Bolt. Anyway, Marco. Him. Polo, yes. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> in the show, it's Marco not Polo. spoilers because it's in the, literally the second episode. That's still a spoiler. Okay, fine. Spoiler alert. Alert. In the show. Spoiler. Spoiler. In the show, Marco dies. <gasps> Polo so, dies. Marco Polo dies. Oh. Half of him has been eaten. Oh. By a titan. <laughs> 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 He's like, oh, this turn. Oh. <laughs> Half of him's been eaten by a titan. You want to explain so what a titan is? A titan is this like giant bodied monster oh. that's running the world, basically, and everybody's trying to fight against them, but they're oh. not real humans. They just turn into steam, and you can only kill them by cutting a notch they off the back of their neck. They turn into steam? Yeah, when you try to kill them. When you kill them, they like steam evaporate. It's weird. I don't think he's anyway, <laughs> I didn't explain it right. Either way, Mark would dies. <laughs> What and about him? <laughs> <laughs> half of his face is gone and his whole right side. Yeah, his whole right side from torso up is gone. And there's many AUs to where he's been cyborged. So in this world, he could be cyborged. Half of him is What are him. AUs? Alternate universes. So the show has alternate universes? People write them. So you use an example of a show... <laughs> <laughs> and then use <laughs> that that wasn't even point of the show. Uh, well, I'm just saying, like, people, so people like him. You could have said, <laughs> but it doesn't make sense because no one's going to see the show and be like, where is that half robot coming in? <laughs> they, they have not shown what I, what I heard. <laughs> this makes no complete sense. That's Basically, like, that's like if I said, it's like if I said, so I was watching, uh, so no, spoiler alert, I was watching, um, Avatar, and you know, there's Aang, and mm-hmm. he's the Avatar. And then, you know, people have, uh, you know, spoiler, but he's a guy, and uh, uh, you have the firebender, uh, <laughs> he's Zuko. also a guy, Zuko, and then they get married. What? And, uh, <laughs> this isn't in the show, it's just when someone wrote it online. <laughs> Why would you mention that? <laughs> So let's get nice. rid of the AU parts. So basically, in this world, Marco wouldn't be dead. They just like take no, half no, of his body and just shove him as a cyborg. It. Stop it! They this make him a cyborg. All wrong. So it could be more like he still has body parts. His body can get sick while the cyborg is fine, and vice versa. Or just like cyborg, cyborg, the actual cyborg from DC Cyborg, <laughs> from Teen Titans. Cyborg! Oh my god! Oh my. God. Gosh. <laughs> I completely forgot about Cyborg. It's his name. I forgot about Cyborg. Oh, that's so sad. Anyway, in this movie, it looks like everyone just has a head and then the rest of their body is robot-y. Well, no, there's so, people, there's actual people there. I'm saying the robot people. Head, robot body. Well, I mean, that was their choice. No, I think they're made. Mm, that's creepy. No, it's life in this world. That's creepy. Mm, that's life. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but yeah, so you wouldn't really need a doctor. Because um, if, even if you were mostly human or whatever, if that part gets sick or whatever, replace it with more robot parts. To you need mostly a to get rid of the, ro- the people part, though. No, you don't. You can't have a mechanic chopping on people and say, there you go. Yeah, you can. They got the mm. robot parts in there in the first place. They can put the other robot parts mm. in there. Yep, yep. Mm. Roboto. <laughs> <laughs> Were you trying to do the Domo Arigato? No. <laughs> Mr. Roboto? I don't know what that That's is. exactly what you just did. I have no idea what that is. Anyway. Um, How do you not know what that is? <laughs> Marcy, uh, what is your second point? Well, my second point ties along to your first point. Is that... No more doctors. Uh, all doctors must become professional mechanics. So they got to get another Yeah, uh, they got to get another degree. Skill. Yeah. I so they say, can't. No, no, not a degree. Well, yeah, not a degree. My uncle taught me in the garage. Uh, <laughs> so I don't need your state uh, degree. <laughs> I don't need your state piece of paper. Anyway. This made me think of Gotham Garage. When does that come back on? Uh, on uh, Netflix. Uh, t- let, me, let, me, let me know, please. Mm. I don't know the name of it. Rags Riches or something to Riches or something. 
Mm-hmm. Some I know the garage is Gotham Garage where they change cars. T- somebody let me know when that's coming back. Th- thank you. Okay, continue. Okay. Garage. So yeah, my uncle raised me in a garage to, and I also went to medical school. So. So yeah, so like they need to have that skill of being a mechanic so that doctors can work on the people peep because there's people still there. On so the people peep. Oh no, this is this is where that's the movie. So in this world, there's some half people, half robots. So the people is still there, and I understand some people are like. I don't want to be all robot. I have some trepidations about becoming a complete cyborg. But part of you so wants to be it. I can. They don't want to be complete as long as it's like seventy five and under. They're fine. Seventy five. That's seventy five percent. Seventy five percent. Jeez, what did you not get changed? Your ears? I left my face, uh, my right shoulder, and the shoulder, not the arm. <laughs> Just want to keep that shoulder. I have memories. That's my where, stomach because I like digesting food. That's where I got my first kiss on my shoulder. <laughs> so I got to keep that. What? My right one, not my left. The left can go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so they have to because they're still like half people. They're like they're they're not just all robots. There's people parts in there too. So because of that, doctors need to become mechanics too, so they can be doctors, but also work on the robot pieces. Okay. And vice versa, mechanics need to become doctors. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> I do not trust that at all. <laughs> do not trust that what? at all. What? No. <laughs> like, well, in my shop, this piece wasn't an actual right piece, but it fit, so we used it. So <laughs> this kind of looks like a lung, so we're going to just shove that in there. Sir, I don't that think. was... That was not a lung. Yeah, it's like, this is a pipe from a car. Matt, same thing. It fits. It it's, breathes air in and out. There you go. It'll expand if you make a filter. There you go. There you Bye. go. No problem. I don't know if it's waterproof, but you good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Just don't go swimming. Yep. yep, yep, yep. All right. So that's my second point. What's your second point? Okay. So chess and other intellectual games, which I couldn't think of, maybe like Chinese chess. What are some other intellectual games? Chess, Chinese checkers. Checkers, checkers. that's what I was going to say. Checkers Poker is an intellectual game. Chinese checkers, yeah. Okay. Poker? Poker. No, checkers. You said checkers. Chinese checkers. Okay, but not regular checkers. I mean, checkers if you want it to be. I don't think that counts. Not really. I don't think anyone's having a struggle <laughs> playing checkers. <laughs> mm, he moved his black piece into B9. <laughs> but I want to do a triple jump. Yeah, like, so like, I don't think that's, achieve this. Yeah, I don't think anyone is doing how that. Many, how many moves will it take me to swipe this? Up, oh, up, oh, I've been kinged. I can yeah, do everything. I don't think anybody's doing that. <laughs> But yeah, so chess, Chinese checkers, poker. All the other ones we don't know. Other ones. Okay. So they will be replaced by professional sports. Okay. Mm. Um, As in they will get paid. The people that play that, there will be a select few and they will get paid like professional sports players get paid now. Because in professional sports, basically anybody can be a professional sports player now if you change most of your body to robots. And you could jump as high or shoot as far or have right, right, right. pinpoint whatever because, I mean, the bot's doing most of the work. High jump, let's go. Yep. Yeah. That's cheating. So basically, <laughs> it's like, I want to be taller. So I'm going to be in the NBA. Here you go. No problem. Actually, you wouldn't really need to be taller because you, no. I you mean, just have Bud the speed Webb. and you can jump. No, I just meant this robot portion. True. So you could just have speed and jump and height and stuff to get to the goal. Ooh, they go be have to made out like metal or something like titanium. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. So because those are that way, the brain on the other hand can't really be changed. Can't change it. I mean, you could, but then you wouldn't count because you can't you get. You would really, be a full body. Yeah, full body robot. So the the Unless rule you get is the leg. Guess what? Unless you get no. the body. <laughs> <laughs> I changed full robot except my toes. <laughs> my whole leg is people. Got to keep got to keep my people legs. <laughs> I kept my right side. I like my silky legs. I like to shave them. I like them. to shave them and yep. just feel the hair. Just feel the hair. The hair don't grow no more, but the mm. last time I shaved it was nice. Lovely. <laughs> but anyway, so yes, yeah, so those people would be replaced and get, uh, I mean, those sports would be replaced by professional sports and they would be professional sports, even though some of those are considered professional sports, but they would get paid like football players. What about and, golf? No, because you could hit it. It's about, it's not a, it's not a mental sport really. I mean, it's a mental, as in you're going against yourself and you can mess yourself up mentally, but you can do degrees and stuff with your robot body and True. hit it perfectly to get there. I can't think of any other sports other than like chess, maybe goldfish because <laughs> becomes a difficult sport to play. <laughs> solitaire. Oh, this Ooh, is really, solitaire. really hurting me. Okay. So we've got poker, chess, Chinese checkers. Regular checkers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's that called with the thing where you shake it and it's a bunch of dye? And you shake it out and it's not... Yahtzee! That one. I don't know how that works. I don't either. I've never played it. Okay, cool. Skip bow. Wait, what? (laughs) (laughs) 
What did you say? Skitbo. What is that? It's game. Is it from some country somewhere in the back? No, of it's a, I'm going to play Skitbo. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going tonight, Jim? <laughs> well, Uncle Bud, I'm going to play <laughs> Skitbo. <laughs> it's a game. Skip, it's skip, a, skip, 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 skip. So when you win, you yell out, Skitbo. Skip, 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 skip. It's a legit card game. I think it's like a mix of yeah, solitaire. Yeah, Skitbo. See, look, Skitbo. Skip bow. What you playing there, boy? I'm playing skip bow. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. It's a sequencing card game from the makers of Uno and yeah. three, Uno. Players Uno, use does skill Uno and strategy. Ooh, Uno, yeah. I and mean, it's not really intellectual, but I mean it is when it comes Monopoly. to Monopoly. Maybe oh board God. games. <laughs> Ooh, board games. Board games. Not shoots and ladders. Why not? I mean Not shoots and ladders. That's climbing up and falling down. But it takes a lot of skill. No, it doesn't. Neither does Candyland. Oh, That's just looking at colors. Trivia games. So, Spelling bees. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, all those are played like millions. There oh, boy. Yep, yep. Shh, I'm recording the thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shh, I gotta record this thing. Hey, guys, so I know what you're thinking. I love the show, but how can I convey how much I adore it? That's easy. Just head over to patreon.com slash real and real pod. That's R E E L I N R E A L P O D. You can donate a dollar to show your support. You'll get some cool stuff in return. It's a thank you from us. You even get a shout out on the show. But what if you don't have an extra dollar? And what if you don't love us enough to steal from your great grandma while she's sleeping? Well, you can go to iTunes and give us a rating. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, or just tell all of your neighbors, friends, enemies, and that one weird guy down the street about the show. We appreciate any support. If you're a company that wants us to advertise your product, you can contact us at realandrealpod at gmail.com. Okay, that's it. Enjoy the rest of the show. But moving on to your last point. My last point is that if everyone is like half or all bodies are, we're going to eventually run out of humans. Why? It's just our head. We're robot bodies. Right. We're still human. How are you going to make a baby? It's robot babies, which means oh, they're tubes. not. Oh, my God. Yeah. Th- you got rid of all of the things no, that no, make no, the babies. No. You, so we're just going you, into the old no, no, sperm you, banks Yeah, you, get the, you give your specimen before you change over, obviously. Mm. Silly. Or maybe you keep that part. No. Wait. No. I don't, your body I don't can't produce works. it. You know. Yeah, you give your sam- samples before you turn into a, a robot. And then so they grow them in a test tube. How do they incubate this? Because it has to be incubated in a person. Even test tube babies, they incubate it in a person. I'm sure there's nope. some way to do it. Like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh my God. We just shove them in like a little <laughs> little little womb, womb. AKA egg thing. No, it's like a fine. like a water thing. It'll grow. We, we, we got robot bodies. We can figure this out. We can figure it out. Oh my God. Or you keep people who are birthing people. <laughs> It's like, you are now our birthers. Yes. You're welcome. Yes. So we have, what, five women and two men per certain Why? area of space? Why would you only have two men? It doesn't take a lot for a men to get baby people pregnant. It takes one, a lot for a woman. That takes almost a whole year. Okay. One, you have different nationalities. <laughs> so <laughs> I meant for like areas. So well, like, no, you said five <laughs> so, so I guess we only have two colors. I started to say. <laughs> from the men's side. And I guess women have a range possibly. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's funny oh my god that is funny i guess yeah so yeah i guess this is an easy way to kick out certain races good job no, marcy no that's not Racist. what i was saying i had more to the point it was i don't that. think so i, don't no, think you I was did. saying that there's for each sec- section and that for section i was thinking like for like the square radius of what atlanta there'd be like so instead of being five and two it'd be like 45 and 20 why are there so many more women? I don't because it takes nine months to incubate a baby. And who? So what if she don't want to sleep with that same guy. Why don't you can't twenty and twenty? What if everyone wants one partner? No, we gotta have more women. Mm. Okay, fine. Because mm-hmm. while one's knocked up, they can't get pregnant while they're pregnant. So it, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I mean, no, the only way that works is if it's like, oh, that one started. And as you know soon what? as that one's the gestation started, they started another one just Here's what right in there. Here's so. what we do. Here's what we do. Solution. Oh, you find people with a history of twins in their family. There you go. Oh, now you don't have to have gosh. multiple women. They birth out two babies at once. Do you know how painful that is? Depends on the person. Birthing doesn't hurt everybody. Oh, my gosh. What if? What if they're like... 
I know someone that naturally had triplets. Like they didn't go through any <gasps> triplets. Yes, they didn't go through any birth hormones, and they're like, listen, birth from- hormones, birth, <laughs> birth. <laughs> birth hormones. They didn't have any birth hormones or any IVF. Yes. Nothing. Not birth. 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 It's Scandinavian. Birth. <laughs> My name is Birth. My name is Birth Alamiel. Birth Alamiel. Birth Alamiel. You can call me Bortho. Bortho. My friends I'm. call me Bortho. What's, what's the name of that game? What's the name of the game? What game? The game that you showed. Skitball. My name is Bortho. I'm playing Skitball. <laughs> in the bayou. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. But yeah. So, <laughs> so triplets, we just have women who have triplets naturally. Bam. Oh, God. Ooh, imagine that person that just like just randomly popped out five naturally. Like, ooh. Then she's a golden woman. <laughs> <laughs> you can only do this once. <laughs> Enjoy. Because they all come out preemie. They could never make it to term. We'll figure it out. Mm. I mean, if this is years in the future, no, this is today. Well, never mind. We'll figure it out. People dying. We'll find Wakanda. They dying out you. Uh, come uh, on. We'll, we'll get Wakanda's technology and Atlantis technology. We'll mash them together. Bam, we'll find the technology. <laughs> we'll figure it out somewhere. Figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's my last point. What's your last point? Murderers will become hackers. Okay. So what they do is. They can't hack a brain. You can hack a body. True. Okay, go ahead. Explain. So you hack. They hack the body. Okay. What they do is they're using other people to commit murders. So I hate that person over there. I'm gonna hack your body, even though you're a poor old lady who's in her nursing home, and I'm gonna make you walk over and stab this other person, and then everyone pins it on you and not me. Well, bam, bam, the perfect wow. crime. And so they can, you know, track your rack. Tra- wow. Track, track my rats. <laughs> my rats that I trained to go hack. <laughs> Track your rats. The history. I track track my the rats. hack. I meant track your hack. I meant Are you going to track, track the hack? Hacks. I'm going to track them rats. Oh, my God. <laughs> track your hack. Uh, no, uh, no, I mean, they can necessarily. And then who says, what if I hacked them while I was at like a library or something oh like that? My they can't find me. Or I, or I had a bunch of signals bounce around. There you go. Bum, bum, bum. I guess. I guess. Yep. Yippity, yep, yep. Yippity, yep, yep, yep. So now no one's solving murders, really. Well, the, you know, the, the hacker ones, not the ones out of passion and, you know. Not legit murders. Wait, what? There are non-legit murders? <laughs> what? <laughs> Were you in here for murder? Yeah, but it was non-legit. I mean, it was just a tiny murder. I not mean, a, not I a big sneezed murder. and I said that shoe into their chest like seven times. So yes. it wasn't legit. It wasn't a legit It wasn't murder. legit. You know, just. just I can cool. get off on this. I have just allergies. The, yeah. Everyone just, here knows I have bad allergies. I'm like, I oh, stay away from sneeze. Sarah. She got them bad allergies. So every time I people. sneeze, I chew, chew, chew. And it's just a lot of I just punch people. Yeah, I can't help it. I can't help it. You know, it's not not a real legit murder, though. Oh, my God. Anyway, so those are our. Our points let's run down them real quick go uh, my three points oh my gosh i can't even my- but you can marcy <laughs> you can say them my three points is that oil prices are on the rise all doctors must become professional mechanics and the interesting <laughs> and the, the th- <laughs> and the <laughs> and the face <laughs> I can't do it. (laughs) And the phasing out of humans. What are your three points? My three points are no more doctors. Chess and other intellectual games will be replaced by professional sports, as in they get paid. And murderers will become hackers. So, Marcy, whether people go see this movie or not, what movie do you suggest they go see in their free time? The movie that I suggest you see in your free time is called The Ugly Truth. With, With Catherine Heigl? Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> Why do you like Catherine Heigl so much? I don't know. Uh, All right. So my movie is called uh, The Ugly. <laughs> Give it a chance, guys. No. You like the, the 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 guy? No, I don't. But you like the guy? Who's the guy? Isn't it Jason Statham? No, it's not Jason. No, it's Statham. Gerard Butler. No, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Hold up. Yeah, it is. It's, I thought you liked Gerard Butler. Uh, no, Jerry B's all right, but I don't love him. Jerry B. Jerry anyway, B. what's up, Jerry B? <laughs> <laughs> if you listen to this, that'd be great. Catherine, if you're listening to this, ignore David. No, listen to me. Oh my! Get God. off Suits so I can watch it again. <laughs> she's on Suits. Yeah. What? Yeah. Is Rachel not there anymore? No, she's not. She's a princess now. Yeah, she's been gone. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> watched Suits about? in a while. Rachel's been gone. Jessica's been gone, but Jessica's getting her own spinoff. What? Well, she was gone because she couldn't keep traveling. She didn't want to keep traveling 
back and forth because I think they shoot in Canada. She lives in Los Angeles. So yeah, that's a big now they're doing bar. a spinoff and she's going to be in Los Angeles with her own farm. So I'm all about that. It's going to be called Pearson. Ooh. Okay. Anyway, my movie is called The Ugly Truth. Abby Richter. Rich, Rich, Richter. What? R-I-C-H-T-E-R. Richter. Abby, how do you know this? You didn't even watch the show. Anyway, I know Abby how to pronounce Richter. that name. <laughs> how do you, you know, know, how you know how to pronounce the name John thing? when you've never <laughs> seen John the Giant Peach? It's James. It's Thank you. Jonathan. It's, it's his full. It's James the Giant Peach. Cro- cro- what is his name? Proper Quaker name is John. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Abby Richter is a lovelorn TV producer who, despite a long and arduous search for the perfect mate, is hopelessly single. The battle of the sexes heats up when her employers team up with Mike Chadway, an opinionated TV celebrity who plans to put Abby through the ringer to prove his own theories about what makes men and women tick. This movie stars Katherine Heigl. Oh, gosh. Katherine Heigl, Gerard Butler, Eric Winter, and a lot that's enough. more people. So that's my movie suggestion. I think it's, it's a cute little movie. It's a little rom-com. It's, it's great. He hates this person, so he's never going to give this movie a chance. But yes, that is my movie suggestion. So what is your movie suggestion if they do not go see this, which you should? My movie suggestion, which you should not go see hers. <laughs> <laughs> I meant the actual movie that we were doing the, the episode on. Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, my movie suggestion is The Page Master. A storm forces frighten Richard Tyler inside a nearby library for shelter. Mr. Dewey, the librarian, sees that Richard needs an adventure and tries to give the boy a book. But all Richard wants is a phone. Lame. Before he can call his parents. Oh, because he wants to call his parents. Okay, that makes sense. I thought he just wanted a phone to play with. Richard slips on the floor, hits his head, and passes out. Ooh, great. Concussions are fun. When he <laughs> wakes up, he, he finds himself in a fantasy land populated by famous literary characters. This is an old movie, guys. It came out in 1994, just so you know. The movie stars Macaulay Culkin, Christopher Lloyd, Patrick Stewart, and uh, I'll give a shout-out to Whoopi Goldberg. But anyway, it's a, it's a fun movie from what I recall. I haven't seen it in decades. Uh... But I think it's I think it's I think it's a, I think it still holds up. I think it's still a good movie. But anyway, that's my suggestion, Marcy. Where can people find you online? You can find me online at uh, Marcy. Oh yeah, Marcy <laughs> underscore one one nine on Twitter. Mm-hmm. You can also find me on Marcy at Oh Wow. You can also find me on Marcy Instagram. at Oh Wow <laughs> dot com. No, <laughs> that'd be a boring page. What? You can also find me. I am a very boring person. Look at my Instagram. It's bland. Mine is not. Which my Instagram is Marcy underscore one one dot nine. You did it on time. Yeah, high five for you. No, I've done it on time times. You slapped me. <laughs> it was a high five. See with unwilling hand. <laughs> anyway, where can we find you, David? You can find me on Instagram at David underscore poems. Check them out. You can find me on Twitter at a Clark Kent type. Shout out to the stash. You can also find the show on Instagram. Yep. And Twitter. Yep. And Tumblr. Yep. And I think that's it. Facebook? So. Yes, Facebook. Okay. Also, guys, we did a review for this movie. Please go watch us on YouTube. The link will be in one of the descriptions somewhere. So or just go to our YouTube. It's linked somewhere. But uh, we appreciate you listening. As always, shout out to Kit the and also, thank you to all of our other patrons. We appreciate y'all. And our listeners. Uh, go tell the friends, guys. Go, go tell all your homies. Please. Let people know. And we know we're on Spotify now. So, like, it's so much easier to find us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, if you have a guest you want to be on the show, hit us up and let us know. Or hit them up and annoy them to be on the show. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye. 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 Bye.